guys so as promised I'm gonna show you guys my makeup routine um, this doesn't really change too much I usually wear this wherever I go my skin is already prepped I've moisturized and put sun cream on so what I'm doing at the moment just because I haven't had time to go get proper foundation and stuff like that I've been using the it cosmetic CC plus cream um, it's got 50 plus SPF which is really good I squirt about a pea size of that onto my finger and then I grab the Too Faced multi-use um, Born This Way Sculpting Concealer and this is what I'm doing because this is too dark for me so I put about the same onto my finger like that. I like to warm up the product into my fingers first and then I will rub it into my skin and don't freak out even though it's a little bit dark for me still we're gonna fix it up with um concealer and contour and i'll show you how to do that bringing it down my neck a little bit as well then i grab my wet beauty blender and i just bounce the product into my skin don't forget to go into your hairline and go down your neck as well we don't want to have two different colors I do like to keep the base layer on my skin quite light because I do go in with concealer and contour. Then I grab the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium and I pop that just where I need it. I also like to go in with my Too Faced Concealer as well on top of this and I'm using the shade Almond. While the concealer rests on my face for a moment, I'm gonna pop on my cream contour and I use the Clinique Chubby Stick. I just pop it on my brush and I like to hit the perimeter of my face. Then I blend in my concealer. After I've blended all of that in, I then go in with cream blush and I use the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in Bikini Martini. And this is literally like my favorite color to put on as blush. I pop that on the highest points of my cheeks. I don't bring it down onto the apples. I just feel like this lifts my face and just gives the effect that I want. Once that in with a beauty blender. Now to set my face, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Translucent Honey. I like to grab the powder on my beauty blender and just Press the excess into the palm of my hand and then go in and set it. I only do this for a crease, so like under my eyes, around my nose and mouth area. Then I just grab a brush and put a little bit on that brush and set the rest of my face. I don't focus too much of the powder on the rest of my face. The next thing that I do is I bronze and I use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. This is more of a glowy bronzer and I just hit the same spots of my face that I was cream contouring. Then to sculpt out my face a little bit more, I use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and this is what I use to sculpt out my face a little bit more. Get underneath my jaw as well. Then for powder blush, I use the NARS Blush in Thrill. And this is, again, like a baby pink. And I just pop that right where I pop the cream blush. For highlighter, I use the Too Faced Love Light Blended by the Light. I'm not too sure it's kind of rubbed out. And I like to pop this on my inner corners, on the tip of my nose right here. I love to go in between my eyebrows right here. And I bring it down a little bit too. For my eyes, I use the Morphe palette in 350. And I don't do a lot to my eyes either. I'm gonna go in with this color and that color. I like to focus most of the product on the outer corner like this. And then once I've deposited most of it there, I like to sweep it in to the inner corner. I'm also very careful not to bring it down. And when I blend out, I blend out like this and flick it outwards. And I just feel like it elongates my eye. 
Then for the inner portion of my eye, I like to use a bright white colour and I'm just going to use the white in the palette. And I just feel like that's opened up my eye a little bit more and it makes me look a little bit more awake, which I'm not. I like to build it up as much as I like. It's a very simple eye look, but this is what I do when I'm going to the shops, even just to go clubbing, this is what I'll wear. I just feel like from my eyes, the simpler, the better. Then to line my eyes and just give them a bit more definition, I like to go in with these two colors right here. For my eyebrows, I've recently been using these brow code imitations in brunette and it looks like this. It got sent to me and I've just been trialing now and I actually quite like it. Believe it or not, whenever I try to buy eyebrow pencils, there's not usually a color dark enough for my eyebrows. It's usually just black that I have to use or a black eyeshadow. But this one's been really nice and I just feel in that little spare spot that I have right here. And that's the only place that I feel in for my eyebrows. For my nose contour, I like to grab this little grey wait, where is it? This little grey shade in the palette. And I'll literally just start at my eyebrows and bring it down my nose. I also like to contour my lips a little bit. Once I've done that, I like to go in with my powder again and just clean up my face a little bit. For mascara, I just curl my lashes the littlest bit. Make sure you wipe off your bake before you put mascara on. I'm trying so hard not to do the mascara face right now. And for mascara, we're using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in... I'm going to assume it's black because there's no name on it. Then for lashes, I'm going to use these Ardell Wispies and they're just a full lash cut in half, if that makes sense. And for lash glue, I just use the Duo Lash Glue and I just pop it on the lashes. And while the lashes dry, I'm going to use um, my lip liner and I use the Bare Minerals Lip Liner in On Point and this is literally my favorite lip liner in the whole world. I feel like it's the closest match to my natural color of my lips, which is this. And for lips, we're gonna use this little sample that I've got from NARS. It's the Lip Balm in Orgasm, and it's just this really pretty pink color. Just grabbing some of my nail. Oh my God, I actually love that. I feel like it does the lip balm and lip colour job all in one. Just popping on my lashes now. And when I pop my eyelashes on, the inner corner is actually stuck to my lash line, but the outer corner is actually stuck to my lid to give like a lift. So if you look closely, my lash line ends there, but I've stuck the eyelash a bit further up and it just lifts my eye and gives that like feline eye look. So that's my finished makeup look. Um, I'll wear this anywhere really. It doesn't really change and I did wear this look in the villa. I just wanted to stick to something that was easy, quick and I knew would look good. I wasn't too adventurous with my makeup in the villa. Let me know if you guys like it and if you guys want to see anything else in particular.